All right, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to the Real Talk Podcast. Uh, I am John, and I'm always, like always, I'm joined by my co host, Audrey. What's up? Yes. Hey, long time no see. I know. It feels like, <laughs> I know we do this like every week, but uh, sometimes it feels like, oh man, like we haven't caught up a in, a, in a while. Um, but all right, guys, for as you guys can tell by the thumbnail and everything, this uh, podcast on this podcast, we're going to be talking about uh, our top five MCU movies in honor of Ant-Man and the Wasp coming out this uh, this Friday. And uh, we're also going to be reviewing Sicario 2, Day of the Soldado, which we both got a chance to see. And obviously, um, we're just going to be talking some stuff. Shit. Too. Yeah, just, talk, <laughs> I'm just kidding. talking some random stuff as always. Um, I just kind of want to begin though, Audrey. Kind of want to bum you out again. Do you know who else got married? Fuck. Don't break my heart again. I don't know who got married. I'm just kidding. Nobody got married. <laughs> Aw, lame. No, but um, I was going to say if you wanted to take this time to address something that you were talking to me about. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Actually, this is the perfect time because he just did it. Um, I just yeah, wanted to <laughs> quickly address it. I do have a pet parrot, and um, he you can usually hear him in the background. So I'm trying out this new thing today, and I have him in the living room, and I don't think he's happy about that, obviously. <laughs> he just squawked at me. He's but I'm you. trying to see... Yeah, I'm trying to see if maybe... Um, if that works out better because he does make a lot of background noise and the mic picks up everything so i just want to apologize for that that's what you've been hearing this past couple of podcasts like his little feet or him in the cage like that's him so yeah he's kind of he's kind of noisy but you know he's a parrot so (laughs) but he's a pet john yes and we love our parrots i mean our parrots our our pets pets here on the real talk (laughs) yeah john has his uh cat oreo that is adorable, yes. but she doesn't make any noise, Lucky. I know, or she's a cat, so like cats are like stealth and stuff like that. So thank I God. know she. And I kind of forget that you have her, dude. Like I never see her like walking around or like anything. Like I never, I never see her like ever. Yeah. No, I know. I think she's done like some cameo appearances in some of my live streams because <laughs> she just like walks around. But like when I did do my videos, like you, it's like kind of like my stomach up or something so you can't really like see her you know roaming around but sometimes i'm scared because i'm doing the video and i'm in the zone and like she comes close to the tripod and it's like a tripod that i got from <laughs> ross <laughs> so it's all flimsy and stuff so like if she literally like she can knock everything down i'm like damn it like hopefully uh hopefully she doesn't do it but um yeah i don't think oliver's having it i can hear him he's oh his name's oliver by the way um but yeah i can hear him in the and back. why is he his name oliver I never told you. I know, but the audience probably doesn't. One hundred percent sure they don't know. Um. Yeah. Well, actually, when I got him, that was when around the time when um, "Call Me by Your Name" came out, and uh, I remember I was watching it when I got him, and I was like, oh, "I'm gonna name him Oliver." Yeah. And the other day, I remember you told me that you watched that. We're all like in a kind of not. We, we happy were place. all in the feels. We're yeah. in the feels and she chose to see Call Me By Your Name. It's like, God damn it, Audrey, like what were you trying it's to It's cause do? that movie <laughs> has like a weird it has like a weird thing over me, like where it kind of makes me happy and it makes me depressed at the same time. It's really weird. I think it's because it's such a beautiful movie that that part makes me happy. Yeah. But the story itself is what makes me sad. The subject you know what matter, I mean? Yeah. Especially yeah. that uh that ending with that song. Which I I oh. love that scene. It's, just it's a powerful scene, like man, jeez. Oh, We've all been there, you know. Yeah, We've all been definitely. All um, but all right, <sighs> Audrey, have you seen anything else besides Sicario? Did you watch anything else this past week? Um, I didn't watch anything in theaters. However, however, I did watch something that you told me to watch. <laughs> really. Yeah. Wait, fuck. I feel like I should know this. You should because you're the one that told me to watch it. Jaws. No. <laughs> oh, um, what's another movie that I've told you to watch besides the one I have in mind? Um, fuck, I can't even remember. Midnight Special? No. What? I watched The Bad Batch. Oh, really? Awesome. Fuck, yeah. I, I forgot. You didn't even tell me anything about it. 
that's cool. So how'd I you know. like it? How'd you like it? I really like that movie. It's like it's so, so bizarre. Yeah, it's like so bizarre and like weird, but I really enjoyed it. And can we just talk about for a second, like Jim Carrey's performance? Like, what the hell? I loved it. Like, I was like, how come he didn't get any more like recognition for it? Like, it was an amazing that, performance. That movie, um, I reviewed it in one of the previous, like, probably the first, no, no, the second or third podcast of that I did. Um, and I gave it a 6.5, but I feel bad for that because like ever since then, I just keep thinking about it and thinking about it and like the, uh, some of the music and stuff. I'm like, you know what? That movie deserves like at least like a 7.5 <laughs> or even an eight, yeah. you know, like it was actually really, really good and it's underrated. Uh, and it was just one of those movies that just like flew under everybody's radar. I don't even think I've seen, I saw, um, like any trailers for it or anything, um but yeah everybody was great obviously i thought jim though was was pretty cool like he doesn't he probably he doesn't even have dialogue right spoilers <laughs> no but i mean he's just he was just amazing like yeah. i loved him like i wish and keanu reeves keanu reeves, reeves kinda looks was great fat. too huh he seems like he got he you think so rain. yeah like for some or maybe it's just that type of character he played made me like think like oh He's kind of like chubby or something. I mean, I, don't know. I still, I still think he looked bomb as fuck. Yeah. Oh, Audrey. I mean, because I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm. This is a family show here. A family show. <laughs> Shut here up. Cussing and shit. I'm, I'm, I'm like a sucker for Keanu. I love really? him. Really? So, yeah. I didn't know that. And he's like a, he's like. Oh a, yeah. Not decent. He's like the standard of like being a human being. Like he's so nice and like, he's like, I don't know. And he's had, like, every bad thing happen to him, too. Yeah, like, a lot of shit has happened to him. And I'm just, like, in awe of how he is such a nice human being. Yeah. I don't know. I love him. I think he just exudes this, like, confidence. But, like, also this, like, very, like, stern persona that, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I love him. I think he's he's great. But anyways, so I watched that on Netflix. I'm really happy that I did because I really enjoyed it. Um... And then besides that, well, yeah, I did go watch Sicario. So everybody, highly recommend uh, the Bad Batch on there. Is not sure if the girl who directed it is Australian for some reason. Like I'm getting that vibe, but it is on Netflix. I'm pretty sure everybody has Netflix, so uh, go check that out and tell us your thoughts. Hopefully, we didn't really spoil. I don't think we spoiled much from it. We didn't really talk about the like what it is and stuff like that. But yeah, the cast includes. Jason Momoa, Jim Carrey, uh, Keanu Reeves, and I'm forgetting the girl's name, but she was—I thought she was good. I think she was like an Instagram model or something like that, or something. Yeah, she wasn't like anything big, right? Before that. Yeah, but I thought she she did good, you know. Um, yeah, she did. But um, since last week, I think it was last week. I hope it was. Um, I watched Sicario for. Uh huh. For the first time for that podcast and then i watched i love you man so i mean i finished i love you man this week <laughs> i love this, you man yeah i mean i've I watched it before but it's like a guilty pleasure of mine i, I wouldn't say it like that like that but like it's just one of my favorite like movies like go-to movies and stuff like that like paul rudd and jason siegel i love that movie it's like one of those background noise movies yeah like i just put it on and just i don't know but uh, i don't know <laughs> it's just it's just um it makes me feel good. It makes me feel happy. It's one of those. Oh, well, that's good. We all have those movies. Yeah. Um, and I was going to go watch um, Won't You Be My Neighbor la- la- yesterday. But uh, my cousin hit me up. He said, hey, dude, like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm at work. He said, oh, man, I want to go grab a drink. And I was like, well, I'm off at 730, you know. So I was like, screw it. I've been wanting to have a drink, you know, like a night out for a while. So mm-hmm. we went to go have drinks. But I'm going to watch it tonight. I want you to be my neighbor. And I'm probably going to watch Jurassic World tomorrow. Wow, look yeah. at you, jam packed. Yeah, because it's just, I don't know. I just want to knock them out already. And then plus, like, I have that AMC A list thing. I kind of just want to use oh, it to yeah. its fullest potential. Um, and I wanted to get Ant Man tickets, but, like, I mean, fuck. I don't want to seem like a dick, but, like, I've seen it already. So, like,. I, I don't know, like, I want to see it again, definitely, but it's like, fuck, like, I'd rather use my, one of my t- 
tickets to go see something else like i haven't seen like sorry to bother you i don't know have you seen the trailer by that for that by the way i i actually haven't um i looked it up when you told me about it last week but um i didn't get to watch the trailer i just saw the the cover that would be cool if you don't watch the trailer at all and watch it yeah i think i I am gonna do that with this one i would want to see your, your your reaction and experience with that yeah, I definitely want to do that, and I think that would be a good movie to try. So yeah. I'm I'm hella down to try that. Yeah, that would be cool, and let me know how that goes. But uh, like we're going to do, uh, and like as, as advertised, we're going to be talking about Sicario Day of the Soldado. So you, when did you see this movie, on Saturday or, or Friday? Friday. Friday, and I saw it Sunday. Um, so I, th- from like what you've told me, I think, I think you liked it <laughs> <laughs> from my text, you yeah, mean from, from my bro, did you go watch Sicario? Text? Yeah. And your reaction to um, me watching it on Sunday, you're like, yes, <laughs> I was like, yeah, <laughs> um, I did like it. My God, this movie, like, wow. Like from beginning to end. I feel like I burned 300 calories. Like, my oh, heart shit. was, like, <laughs> beating hard. It was just, like, action-packed, I think. And yeah. it was just... It had you, like, on the edge of your seat. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. And I just loved it. Like, I remember, like, the opening scene was great. Like, it was just, like, fuck. Like, oh, well, spoilers, sorry. But, yeah, oh, yeah the spoilers opening scene... If you have not seen Sakara Day of the Sakara, <laughs> but it was out last week, so come on (laughs) yeah seriously um yeah the opening scene like with the bombing like automatically you're just like whoa like what the fuck like what's going on you know yeah um but it was just i thought it was really action-packed and i think um i really enjoyed that because that's what i was hoping for because i feel like the first sicario is a little bit more slow moving like it doesn't have that much i guess action like adrenaline action but this one did have i think a little bit more that yeah a little bit more of a like a a little bit more story and plot to it i think because the first one was kind of simple they're just trying to you know take down the you know this head of this cartel or something and this one's a little bit more like it's about human trafficking and stuff and like you said the beginning with the bombings it's kind of like the first one how it begins when they're raiding that house and this one begins there is like damn like it kind of doesn't give you a chance to like say okay we're in for this yeah you're just thrown in like to this and it's like fuck like it's already like a heavy movie you know like god damn it yeah and then um what did you think about it uh i really enjoyed it i really liked it um and i i know there's gonna be a well they're talking about doing a third one and it's like yeah obviously i'd I'd be down for it you know (laughs) because like this one wasn't needed like if there was the first one that shows the first one, like, okay, cool, you know? But I think they give us more of what we wanted from the first one, which is more of a Benicio del Toro's character. Mm-hmm. So, like, and again, I feel like he's uh, a standout on this again. Um, he's great. And uh, one of these Hell scenes, yeah, Josh Brolin killed it again, too. Yeah, he was fucking great, too. I think he, he had a little bit more to do in this now that, you know, Emily wasn't there, so we'd have to follow her. It was just these two guys. And they added uh, Kath- Catherine Keener, again from Get Out and Incredibles 2. Mm-hmm. Um, so she was cool. I mean, she wasn't there much, but, you know, she did her job. <laughs> and right. um, I'm trying to remember. Well, that's all, like, performance-wise. I, like I said, it's, it was more Josh and, and, and uh, Benicio doing the heavy lifting in this one. And I love the chemistry right. between those two characters. <laughs> like, I, I like their relationship. Like Me when too. he goes, mm-hmm. when Josh, Josh's character, he goes f- to find Benicio's, like, <laughs> Benicio's, like, kind of weirded out because he, he sees his son, like, the lights are on his place. He goes to the back. He's like, oh, I'm sitting in the living room. Don't kill me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought that was cool. <gasps> and even towards and then they the just end, sit too. down and share a, yeah. pl- a piece of food or something. Yeah. Um, and then towards the end, too, how it's kind of like, oh, man, like, you guys have to do two different things. But they kind of yeah. respect it, you know? They're like, okay, well, you know, fuck it, you know? They have to do their jobs. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I thought, like, 
the transitioning and editing like from story of uh their mission and kind of like the one with the little kid getting into this uh-huh. whole different world i thought that could have been a little bit better because sometimes like there was this moment where i literally like forgot about that plot <laughs> and i was like oh yeah. Well, yeah like i remember this kid like he's trying to you know get some yeah. money or something um but i thought i thought that was cool i thought he, he did a pretty good job too that kid and um yeah i mean i don't like it as much as the first one but i really enjoy like i don't get why a lot of people don't don't like this one you know uh what's the rotten tomato score right now last time like i checked i think it was like at 60 67 something. yeah 67 68 sounds, sounds so it's still right. considered fresh yeah i think but it probably deserves like 70s close to 80s yeah i mean i thought it was really good um like i said it was still very enticing i wasn't bored it was great the performances were awesome from the little girl too oh yeah the little girl really good yeah i forgot her name i think she's like a newcomer i'm not sure <laughs> yeah i think so too i don't but, know um, her and stuff but i really enjoyed it and like you said i like the fact that they kind of gave more background on benicio's situation like with his daughter being deaf and all of that that we found out like oh, okay like that makes sense now you know yeah um i thought that was pretty cool that they did that it just gives more i don't know like it gives you something more to connect with with his character that's what i was gonna ask you too like as soon as they started signing i was like oh like i want to <laughs> know her thoughts on that because i feel like that actor that he was talking to i feel like he was deaf yeah, I think so too. I'm like almost ninety. I want to say like ninety nine percent because of the sounds he was making. Mm-hmm. Because um, like you can deaf tell, people right? naturally make those sounds. Yeah, especially and, um, for you, like the, when you do that as your job and stuff. Right. So when I saw that, it's funny because I actually went to go to watch it with uh, my friend that's an interpreter too. Yeah. And when they started signing, we looked at each other and we're like, "Oh shit! Like yay!" <laughs> <laughs> we're yeah. like deaf people, but um. It's. It wasn't American sign language. It was Spanish sign language. Oh shit! So, oh, well, makes sense. Duh. I was like, there's different <laughs> types of uh, signing, <laughs> but like, no shit. There's different, yeah. ty- different types of language, you know. So obviously, yeah, it's not. It's not. A lot of people think it's like universal, but no, it's not universal at all. Yeah. So um. So yeah, they they use Spanish sign, which I thought was super cool. Um. So I thought that was great. They shined a light on that. That was awesome. Um, I really enjoyed that. Uh, and like I said, I, I just enjoyed the fact that they gave us more background on Benicio's character. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. And then um, the ending, too, was was pretty intense as well. That's <laughs> like, damn, like, what the heck is going to go on? And then... I literally... Um, I wanted to cry when Benicio... When I thought yeah, Benicio was dead. I was I like, he, fuck, I like, cry. okay... If they, I was like, okay, well, in my head, as soon as that happened, I was like, nah, he can't be dead because there's going to be a third. But I was like, fuck, this will literally shot him in the head. Like, how else yeah. is he know? But then I was like, fuck, like, all right, maybe the third one's going to be without him or something, you know? And, like, I was bummed because I was like, damn, like, what a shitty way to go if, like, you know, based on his story and stuff like, and how the job he's doing and stuff. So I was like, fuck, man, like, that sucks, but um that's a testament too of like the character and his acting and stuff like that like we don't want to see him go um but just i (coughs) oh sorry go ahead no just the fact like that um he survived that that kind of just propels him like even more of like a badass or something i don't know (laughs) no like dude that whole scene was really gruesome like when he gets up and you see his fucking like oh yeah shit i was like damn like (laughs) Jesus. but i told i turned around and I, once again i told my friend sorry i'm like a horrible movie goer because i like like to talk but he's an interpreter so i could sign it to him so yeah. i was signing to him and i was like man like that's determination to live like holy crap like he he's on a mission like he yeah. wants to re- i feel i feel like he wanted to redeem himself so strongly for his wife and his daughter that he was just like no like fuck this i'm not gonna die you know what i mean yeah like i'm not gonna go this way and i like the relationship too between the little girl and him yeah that was really cute too i i i thought that was like i that that scene actually got me where um they shoot him 
and you see her just kind of give up like she just kind of like goes blank like after that she doesn't have any expression yeah she's just kind of just there she's like fuck fuck." yeah like something like something inside of her died i thought that was super intense i was like damn like wow she's just like fuck yeah she looked like she just gave up like she's like no like that's it like i'm fucked (laughs) yeah. <laughs> like that's what she looked like and i'm yeah. just like man like that was so intense um i really really enjoyed all of that uh last part um the ending itself i wish it could have been explained a little bit more because obviously josh brolin's character says that he's gonna throw her you know he's not gonna kill her after all and yeah. he's gonna throw her in um witness protection program or whatever mm-hmm. I you but in my head i'm thinking like <laughs> Yeah, well, no, but in, in my head, I'm thinking, like, dude, she's a fucking, like, Nautical's daughter. Like, you really think he's going to let that shit happen? Like, I don't think so. Like, you yeah, know what like I mean? Yeah, like, I love that it, it, it is uh, essentially set up for a third one because it's, like, what is going to happen with the little girl and even Benicio <coughs> and, and Josh's character and um, even that little kid at the end when he's all thugged out and shit, all tattooed. And like, one know. year later, <laughs> he thought he killed someone and stuff and um <laughs> that was funny i thought um i thought yeah, that was funny too i don't do you think benicio kills that fool or no, he's gonna like tr- so. take him under his wing or something because you know what this one has guts he, take him under- he shot me so <laughs> like all right all right kid like you know you're all about your business so yeah i feel like um benicio's gonna take him under his wing but i feel like it's gonna be mm-hmm. something where he's gonna teach him kind of like a vigilante type of deal like he's gonna teach him like to kill the bad guys maybe i don't know yeah. i'm not sure but i feel like he is gonna take him under his wing <clears throat> yeah that'll be interesting so like now with this i kind of want yeah i i, I want to see a third one like that'll be cool a little sicario trilogy it'll be kind of like a weird one because well <laughs> no because i was like i was gonna say it doesn't really have to do much with the first one other than it's like the right. same characters but i mean it's still kind of the same because they're still trying to go at the cartel and stuff you know so yeah so and, yeah um I mean, I always, anytime I can see Benicio on screen, like, sign me up. I yeah, think I as, yeah bring, give us more Benicio and we'll be, we'll be happy. Yeah, and anything. also, um, I just wanted to point out, too, what did you think about the music for this one? Did you think it was kind of um, up to par to the first one? No, I don't think so, but it, it, I did enjoy it, though. Like, I was like, all right, yeah. cool, like, I can get behind it. Like, it had some, like, you know... Um, I mean, I, I wouldn't like to just call it this because I, I mean, I don't know how to make any of that music or something. Like, it kind of just seemed kind of a uh, traditional music for like mm-hmm. some scenes and stuff. But there was other times where I'm like, okay, like he's trying, like this guy's trying to do something with it, you know. But the first score was, <clears throat> I, I think maybe, I'm not sure if it has some of the same like uh, themes used or something. But I, I like some of the score. Yeah, and the visuals weren't bad yeah, either, yeah. but. It's just something about Roger Deakins, like his, like the way he shoots things. Like you know, like you're watching like a Deakins movie or something, you know. And this one, like, it right. wasn't bad, but it was. It just felt different, you know. It kind of lacked that Deakins touch. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't but, bad. Um, it just no, wasn't, yeah, it wasn't. It bad. wasn't like oh my god, like this movie looks beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I still found it pretty enjoyable. The music score wasn't anything, like, amazing, like you said. Like, it was just there. It wasn't, like, the first one where you're, like, wow. Like, it's, like, actually predominant, and you're, like, wow. Like, what am I listening to? Like, it enhances the scenes, enhances (laughs) everything, the overall experience. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I um, completely agree. So, I think it's safe to say that we both recommend it. Yeah, (laughs) and in the writing, Tyler Sheridan, again, he wrote this one, and and I feel like, you can tell like he came back and did did one of these movies because every time he does a movie he, it's so intense he's so good at like writing these tense moments you know and the dialogue and stuff like that so like i feel like you can like know okay this is a tyler Sheridan movie because it's it has some similar um themes like um what he's trying to say about you know what's going on in the border and it's more than just drugs now it's human trafficking and and how that affects kids as well you know not just obviously the the citizens in both countries and stuff so um he always he always has something to say with his scripts and and the movies he chooses to do so Mm -hmm. i think he he killed it too 
Yeah. So um, for me, I'm in giving it two thumbs up. I definitely recommend everyone to go watch it. I think it's worth watching it at the movies for sure. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it does. Like I said, like we're we're not giving shit to the cinematography or the score. We're just saying, you know, the first one was was great. You know, it was at that level. So it, I feel mm-hmm. like, but but with that being said, I do feel like this is a movie you gotta go see at the theaters. Um, and yeah, I would highly recommend it too, especially if you you're a fan of the first one. Um, mm-hmm. And um, I kind of feel weird about um, giving movies scores now. <laughs> I don't know. Why? I like reviewing it. I don't know. It's it's, it's a whole another topic for another another uh, oh, okay. video. But um, I think I would give it a, a seven point five out of ten. Highly enjoyable. Um, but now that I'm seeing the wiki for this movie, he did collaborate with the composer of from, from the last one. So like, you, there's still like I, I've I've noticed like there's similarities. Some, some, yeah, similarities. So, but I mean, I still wasn't you know as great, but still mm-hmm. highly recommend Sicario: Day of the Soldado. Go watch it. Uh, if you again, if you're a fan of the first one, the performances, everything, it was just great. And yeah. Yeah. For sure. That was um, it for I highly today's show. It too. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, so other than that, guys, um, this week, you know, uh, we have Ant Man and the Wasp hitting theaters, the 20th installment in the MCU. That is crazy, Audrey. Do you remember I watching know. Iron Man in theaters? Did you watch Iron Man in theaters? Yeah. I did. Awesome. Me too. Not a lot of people, for some reason, a lot of people. Not for some reason, but a lot of people in this space, um, I've heard like they've told me, and you know I've heard in their videos and stuff. They they had they didn't watch the MCU up until like Captain America or Thor or something. It's like man, like really? Why didn't you watch Iron Man theaters? They, well, some of them were kind of young, but still, like I was kind of young too. But I I still I was like fuck, it's superheroes, yeah. you know? It's Marvel. I, I'm gonna go watch it. <laughs> um, yeah. But no, I'm not throwing shade. It's just. <laughs> Oh, kind of like oh crap <laughs> but ant-man and the wasp uh is coming out hitting theaters uh i've seen it already you guys can see my review i did with uh, rama from rama screen it's up on our channel uh audrey are you excited or i think last time i checked you were kind of like okay you know not too excited but you wanted <laughs> to watch it though <laughs> yeah like i'm gonna i'm gonna watch it but i told you i enjoyed ant-man immensely but it wasn't like a movie that I feel like I could talk and talk and talk about forever and ever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's not, it's nothing like. So spoilers, it's not gonna be in uh, her top five MCU. Movies. <laughs> yeah, spoilers. Sorry, <laughs> sorry to disappoint. Although I love Paul Rudd as Ant Man, I'd love oh, him man. to death. But I just like it. It's just there. It's not one of my favorites. But um, I'm still gonna go watch it definitely. Cause I mean, come on. Like you said, it's still a superhero movie. It's still Marvel. Um, so I definitely will go and watch it for sure. And it, it definitely, <clears throat> it, it, everybody's saying this, but, um, it, it, it is that it's definitely a good palate cleanser after seeing something like infinity war, like goddamn, like that's all, <laughs> you know, we're still all <laughs> grieving and stuff, but it's, it's cool to come back and, and especially in the summer, it's just a fun movie. Um, yeah. Paul Rudd, imagine Lily, the wasp and Ant-Man, they're great. The action is awesome. It's funny. Mm -hmm. Um, They do something interesting with the villain. I think, as far as I know, I think I'm probably the only one that said that. Um, But yeah, it's just it's 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 Ant Man. Everything you like from Ant Man, but like enhanced, like plus two or times two or whatever. So uh, that's great. Um, But also, real quick, I just want to say the first Purge is also coming out this week. uh, And sorry to bother you, uh, which I'm really excited to to watch. Uh, But yeah. In honor of, like we said in the beginning of the podcast, of Ant-Man and the Wasp, we're going to give our top five favorite MCU films. Um, and I had already done my list prior when Infinity War came out, so I just literally added Ant-Man and the Wasp through there. But Audrey, she had a difficult time, and she kind of wanted to <laughs> stab me or something, because she's like, I, I hate putting these lists together. Yes, John, you always make me do lists and I'm like, bro, like I can't fucking choose. choose. I am the most I am the most indecisive person in the planet. Like ask yeah. any of my past relationships, my friends, anyone. 
ask anyone and they're gonna be like oh hell no like audrey can't make a decision to save her life like even to eat like if you tell i was me, about like, to say that like, what do you want to eat <laughs> like what do you want to know and then even, we'll give you like five options and you're like nah <laughs> it's like, yeah i'm mean? just like mm, no yeah i'm the most indecisive person in the planet i fucking hate it so when it comes to making lists i'm just like damn Ugh. But you know, I gotta do it for the podcast. You know, do what it for the do. fam to for the real talk yeah. viewers. And I'm probably gonna get I'm probably gonna get like uh like people are gonna hate me. Like they're gonna like be like, what? Her list sucks. She doesn't know what she's talking <laughs> about. But I just want to give a disclaimer. This is our personal list movies that yes. we enjoy, not exactly. ranked from like what like because I'm gonna say this. I'm not gonna be going into movies. I think that were the made the best or you know what i mean like had the best uh cinematography i'm not gonna really go into that i'm basing yeah. it on solely purposes of my enjoyment like which ones i enjoy personally yeah most. your favorite out of the bunch because <laughs> there is some too like um rankings too like even um i'm looking at my full list here um i'm pretty sure people won't um agree with i'll say this uh, out of the 20 movies, Spider-Man Homecoming is number 15 for me. And a lot of people are like, what the fuck? Like, it's not in your top 10, blah, blah, blah. It's like, look, I mean, I enjoyed it. It's I, not I, It's not in my top 10 either. <laughs> I give it a, t- a 7.5, you know, but everybody's just like, oh, my God, this is the best Spider-Man. Like, no, the best Spider-Man <laughs> movie is still Spider-Man 2. Same Raimi. I fucking love yeah. that movie and that trilogy <clears throat> better than any. Uh, and anyways, anyways, but I understand you. <laughs> this is our list. But with that being said, let us know your list in the conversation down below. Um, yes. And yeah, I'm pretty sure you're gonna gonna tell us that we're both wrong in our list. But that's the fun of uh, uh, having conversations and discussions with amongst fellow movie lovers, fanatics, movie, yeah, movie cinephiles or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. But, do you want to start us off, ladies first? What is your number five? Or do you want to... I don't know. No, never mind. I was going to say you want us to do honorable mentions, but it's like, what the hell? <laughs> uh, yeah, no. I'm, I <laughs> I think I should start with the list first. All so right. you want me to say my number five? Yeah, <laughs> your number five. Well, funny thing. <laughs> my number five is actually Iron Man. Iron Man? Oh, man. The first one. It's yeah. not. It's not in my top five. Is it in your honorable mentions? <laughs> it's literally number six. <laughs> literally really? Number six, yeah. Because yeah, of dude. something that, that came out, but yeah. No, um, the reason why I chose Iron Man is because, like we said, it's the first one that I remember watching in the theaters. Yeah. It was the introduction to Tony Stark, or Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark, I should say. And I think he just knocked it out of the park. Like, he embodied that character so well. Yeah. Like, to this day, like, that's all I can picture him as. Um, and it was just such an enjoy. It was just such an, like, a movie that I enjoyed immensely. Like, I think I watched it probably, I want to say, like, three times. And then I bought it, and me and my dad would watch it over and over again. Like, we really enjoyed it when it came out. So, um, for me, it definitely had to be on the list because, like I said, it was, like, the opening to this whole Marvel universe that we have yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. And um, I thought it was great. I don't know. It's still one of my favorites. I'll still watch it from, like, time to time. <laughs> yeah, without this one being at least good, like, critically uh, acclaimed or whatever, um, I don't think we would have the MCU now, you know, like right now. Because if this one mm-hmm. didn't succeed, like, you know, but it did. It did it well at the box office. It did it great at the box office. And it was still to this day, like, I know I have it at number six, but if we were trying to rank these movies as, like, okay, which one's the most well made, I'm pretty sure this one would be a little bit higher, you know, mm-hmm. um, at least in my mm-hmm. in my list. Uh, but it is number six for for me, um, so it's not you know I don't hate it or nothing. You know that's a lot of a lot of times people are like, man, John didn't like Iron Man because it's not in his top five. <laughs> you know, now, like I love this movie yeah. too. Like you, you said, it was the beginning of the MCU. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. was born to play. I hate it when that term is used, but I legit feel <laughs> like that with some people, like Hugh Jackman. You know, for for Wolverine and stuff. Yeah. Um, and and I don't know. It's just with that being said just the character arcs that he's had in his own films and the Avengers and even civil war, uh, even infinity war, like he's just a, such a great character, you know? And he is yeah. that kind of, you know, playboy billionaire philanthropist, like he says, but there's obviously in those movies, he, there's more to him. And I really love that. Mm-hmm. So 
that's why Iron Man for me is like the beginning of that, and it's like, um, it's really close and dear to to my heart. So, yeah. yeah. Um, but with my number five, um, I I don't I don't know if this is gonna be in yours. I hope it is. <laughs> I think it is. Uh, but my number five is Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one. <gasps> really? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god what oh you, you're looking you, you look like <laughs> shocked like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> i'm shocked that it's that low oh crap okay i thought i was like man like <laughs> no because look i love it's just these other movies for me audrey okay <laughs> um but is it on your list you don't have to tell me what placement but it is on the list yeah it is Okay, well, do you want to talk about it when we get there to your list? At that point, we can just go on to my number four or your number four. No, I mean, if you want to talk about it now, it's cool. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, it is on my okay, list, though. Okay, then um, what what number is it on your list? Oh, you want me to tell you the number? Yeah. I well, don't know if I'm saying, ready like, if for it, that. Th- like, <laughs> if it's that high or something, like, you know, um, we can get to it. Yeah, it's not, it's not like the next one. That's for sure. It's not like number four. <laughs> okay. okay well look we'll do this i feel like we should talk about it when we get it we get we get it on um we get it on your list okay all right sounds good all right so what's what's your number four then <clears throat> my number four is going to have to be thor ragnarok oh crap for real yeah oh man is well, it on your list that's not on my it's not on my list <gasps> really that's not even um let me see. Where is it at? That's not even. In, it's not even in my top ten. <gasps> oh, that hurts. It's oh. number eleven. It's but, number eleven. Okay, it's number eleven. Number eleven. Let me let me tell you why. Because you know how much I love Thor and I love Loki. Yeah. And out of no, the no. three, out of Thor, you know the first one and then the second one. That the third one was amazing. And I actually took a yeah. while to watch it. Like I I didn't watch it when it came out in theaters. I actually oh, recently right. watched it not too long ago. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I don't know. I just enjoyed it a lot. It was just such an enjoying enjoy. Like I enjoyed it a lot, and I thought it was really good it was funny i i I like the new look it had to it i don't know i just it became one of my favorites instantly as soon as i finished watching it i was like this became one of my favorites for sure i mean don't get me wrong i love that movie um especially because you know i'm i'm a hulk guy so hulk is in there and he gets to talk Uh a little bit more and stuff and he again they have another great fight between him and thor like they did in avengers um Uh it's just like i don't know like the more i think about it like i wasn't against this in the beginning and i love what taika watiti did like he just brought like thor like because he was kind of more you know there's more of an element of like game of thrones or kind of like shakespeare tone to him back then and like and it was weird when he made jokes only when like (laughs) it was like um uh, like the fish out of water stuff like that was great like in yeah. the first one like oh i'll have another you know he goes into like the freaking pet story he's like, yeah. on a horse you know <laughs> so that that's yeah stuff funny but in this one they just made him like a more comical character which i feel like chris hemsworth shines in that stuff so i wasn't I, yeah. I didn't have a problem with that it's just i don't know sometimes there's just a bit too much of it for me like at times but i get you i loved it i, lo- <laughs> I even liked hella Hella was great. She was kick ass. She was. Kate Blanchett was hot. Um, <laughs> and I love Loki and Thor. I, again, one of the highlights in the Thor franchise is Loki and Thor, their relationship, their brotherly relationship and stuff. And um, what else did I like from it? Yeah, I, I do like Korg. Korg is one of my favorite fucking characters of all time. <laughs> He's voiced by the director, Taika Waititi, so that's great. And Valkyrie was so great and kick ass. Like, I want to I want to see more of her. I'm bummed we didn't yeah. get to see her in Avengers Infinity War. And spoilers if you haven't seen Avengers, but I'm pretty sure everybody and their mother saw Avengers Infinity War already. Yeah, seriously. Um, but, you know, I like it. Great choice. I mean, I just, I just, I'm weird. A lot of people are going to no, I'm like, gonna get a lot of hate from that. <laughs> no, and like I said, this is your personal list. This is our personal opinion. It's just based on enjoyment, strict enjoyment. And I just enjoyed that movie. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. So. But. <laughs> What's mine your number four? four? And again, I don't know if it's going to be in your list. This one, I don't know if it's going to be on your list. But it is Captain America Civil War. 
Ooh, dude, I knew it. I fucking knew it. Um, no, it's not on my list. But you already know. I'm pretty sure you already know why. I or no? No. Wait, is it because another cap movie's on there? No, or because is it another reason. Well, no, it's because I was oh, I was debating. This is why I hate lists because I was debating. I was like, <laughs> man. It's like cutthroat. Like it was like really, it was really tied between this one and another movie. But the reason that I didn't choose that one was just because I'm not the most. I'm not the. I'm not the Captain America fan. Like he's like my least favorite. I think out of all of them. What? Yeah, you didn't know that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dad, was that a shriek? You were like, what? <laughs> no, that was not a high pitched thing that came out of me. But um, it's because like. Yeah. The- for me, like just so um, everyone knows. For me, Cap, I never really liked him. Like, I, right? I, I, I don't, I don't have like a connection to like the the leader, you know, like Superman or even in Street Fighter, like Ryu, <laughs> or like mm-hmm. um, I don't know. I never had a connection to like the main person, the main guy, like Dragon Ball Z. I never really liked Goku. I've always liked Vegeta. I always liked the you know, I don't know. But with this one. With Cap in the MCU, at least, I love this guy. Like, ever since the first one, the first one is, like, I don't know, his whole trilogy, his his arcs, it's just fucking awesome. And, like, even his look in Infinity War, damn. Like, you know? <laughs> well, um, yeah, he's a good-looking guy, but that doesn't mean that I like him on my list. <laughs> like, even, like I just said, Hulk is my, my, my hero, you know? But I think I like Cap in the MCU more than Hulk. And you see, that's the yeah. thing, like, out of everyone, he's just not my favorite. I, like you said, I don't resonate with him. His character doesn't do much for me. He's great to look at, don't get me wrong. I mean, goddamn, those biceps. But, <laughs> but. Remember the just... uh, the game we played after the podcast? <laughs> 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 we, won't, we won't go into detail on that, but. Yeah. <laughs> It exactly him <laughs> yeah so that's what i'm saying like out of everyone he's my least favorite but but if it makes you feel better if i had to choose any captain america movie i would choose that one for sure okay all right so. well i can talk about it i can geek out about it mm-hmm. um at first i wasn't like a huge fan of this movie i just thought it was like an avengers 2.5 <laughs> which is not bad but the more and more i thought about it the more i looked at because i read the comic uh and mm-hmm. it's very different from the movie but mm-hmm. i still like the points of view and i love that in the film the whole film you probably go into oh, okay i'm t- uh, i'm team cap but the film makes you like flip flop sides like oh shit iron man does have a point or you know or cap does have a point and i love that about the movie i love that you see arcs between these two char- these two main characters and I personally love the villain, Zemo. I feel like he had a great motivation for this. He's underrated. Everybody trashes him. But I really appreciated it. Especially because he didn't want money. He didn't want to take over the world or anything. He just wanted, you know, to take... He Kind of like he's part of like the collateral damage of like what happened in Avengers 2, you know? Mm-hmm. And just that... Just, just a little message that he has on his phone you see him early on like listening to something and you think that's a current call but then it's revealed like oh no that's just the last message that he had from his wife Mm -hmm. and i don't know it's just great they brought in black panther and and spider-man seamlessly that whole airport battle is is amazing i it's just i saw it in imax when i first saw it so i was just like god damn this is the definition of a superhero comic book movie like we see all these characters in one like big old fucking um battle or set piece and it's it was amazing so mm-hmm. um i just loved it I, I i loved it and it's obviously uh my number four out of the mcu so yeah so yeah well, well there you go well, ladies there's and a gentlemen a lot of characters <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's well balanced because there's like billion characters so the russos do an incredible job in kind of giving everybody their moment to shine so that's it i promise <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. I mean, that's that's your that's the one that you like. I mean. Oh, and then no, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I forgot to add. No, but um, I forgot to add. No, but um, what is we can go to your number three now. 
Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so drum roll, please. Man, this is like the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Holy shit, I feel like I'm sweating right now. My pit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm sweating. Well, hopefully, you okay. put on deodorant. Yes, I did. Don't worry, I did. I believe in deodorant. Like, have you heard about? Okay, this is getting off the subject, but anyways. No, I heard. Of, <laughs> I know what you're gonna say, but yeah, I I know. <laughs> anyways, weird. um, so for my number three, oh man. I don't even want to say because I'm still like debating uh, with another one, <laughs> but fuck, Just fuck it. it. I, I wrote it down. I wrote it down, and it's based on enjoyment. So, for me, it's gonna be Black Panther. Okay. <laughs> Is it uh, on your list? No. <gasps> it's really? number seven, though. It's number seven, so it, it is in my wow. top ten. Oh, so okay. I have hold on. I have a feeling that your list is gonna be based more. Correct me if I'm wrong. Your list is more based on like older movies, or do you have anything more new? Like um, the older... I don't want to give spoilers. <laughs> Damn it, John. <laughs> Damn it. But um, I don't okay. blame you. Like I said, it's number seven. It could easily be number six, and because I I love Black Panther, I gave it eight point five. So. The and let me tell volumes. you why. Let me tell you why. The reason that I put Black Panther up there is because I thought it was so different. Mm-hmm. Um, the way it was made, it was totally different from what we've seen from any other Marvel movie, I think. Yeah. And um, I really enjoyed everything about it. Like, I thought it was just great. I mean, for me, I think we we went into a little bit about this before. But, like, um, it did have some weaknesses for me. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to get into it. But solely based on enjoyment, um, I just enjoyed this movie a lot. Like, it was just one of those movies that I was like, wow, like, I'm going to watch it, like, over and over again. It's one of those. Even though it's freaking long. It's like, yeah. <laughs> but, but I really, really uh, enjoyed this movie. And I really liked what they did with with the character itself. The Everything. I just, I don't know. I just really enjoyed it. No, yeah, I, I get really you. I don't much. blame you. Um Ryan Coogler does an incredible job in making this film his own, even though it is an MCU movie. And the cast is amazing. Uh, Chadwick Boseman, again, from Civil mm-hmm. War. He was so great in Civil War. And here he has an old standalone film. And he just knocks it out of the park again. The action uh, set pieces are phenomenal. There's mm-hmm. a great pace to the movie as well. Michael B. Jordan's um, Killmonger, Eric Killmonger, the villain, is fantastic. One of the best in the MCU. Mm-hmm. Um everything from wakanda like i love that world they build that everything about it like it didn't feel futuristic like it is you know it just right. felt it just i don't know it's just kind of like uh asgard like i loved asgard all the stuff in asgard i really love all the stuff in wakanda like i i love it all the si- uh, side characters um as well are, are great i don't really remember the lupita nyong'o's character but she was great as well um yeah just everything about the movie the soundtrack as well um Mm -hmm. it looked beautiful um and just what the plot is about it's very different like you said something we haven't seen in like a superhero film um before or or, or, i don't know for a while or before i'm not sure um but it was very cool to see to see that integrated so i don't blame you yep so that's my number three big shocker uh so I uh, what's now, yours? What, what, now what I'm you scared. Told me in the past, I know this one's not on it. So number three is Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Really? Damn! Yeah. Took two spots. Two, <gasps> two. Captain America's up there. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's amazing. Um, but I mean, I I re I, I revisited all the films obviously before uh, Infinity War. So again, watching this movie, I was just like in a trance. Like this movie is. I think it's beyond um, just a superhero film. Um, it, it's w- really well made, mm-hmm. and not it's not just because of that. Like again, Captain America's character in this is so well done. You know, he comes back from being you know under ice. He has to fight an alien army and stuff. So he's all right. Well, fuck it, you know. Mm-hmm. And then now he's kind of just trying to live a normal life. You know, he has this little book with all this stuff he needs to catch up on and. You know, all of a sudden, S.H.I.E.L.D. is kind of compromised, and he has to deal with that. And not only that, he has to deal with Bucky coming back, one of his connections to the past. And mm-hmm. um, just all these different things are going on in this movie, and the Russo brothers brothers do a great job in um, 
handling it all and bringing us a uh, Captain America arc that is great. And again, it's filmed beautifully. The score, the cinematography, everything about this movie works for me. I enjoy it a lot. Uh, Falcon is great. Uh, Black Widow is awesome. Um, what else can I say? And yeah, there's a, just a lot of of uh, subject matter too that's kind of like heavy. You know, like they think Cap uh, Nick Fury dies and stuff. You know. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's definitely like a spy film. Um, what, there was another word for this that people usually use, but no, nah, yeah, it's just it's, it has to be up there for me. And plus, like I said, Cap's my Cap's my guy, so. That's why it's number Honestly, three. I'm really surprised right now because I know you're <laughs> like a big Hulk fan. I, I, so I'm hey, kind of shocked. That's what I'm saying. Like, Damn. Cap, so, Cap won me over in the MCU though. In the movies. Right, 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 right. Um, wow. Well, I am at a loss for words, my friend. <laughs> I'm just like, damn, dude. I don't know. Okay, so fuck. I hate these lists. <laughs> Have I said that to you already? Have I said this to you? How much I hate you right now? (laughs) How much I hate you for making me choose? Because, man, I feel like I'm going to get a lot of shit for this one. From you. Really? Okay. (laughs) I don't know. I could be wrong, but I feel like I am going to get a lot of shit for it. Oh, damn. Just just say it over all right, all right, all right, fuck it, fuck it. Um, well, for my second one, damn, it was such a hard choice because it was between one or the other. But I'm going to have to go. Even right now, I'm still thinking about it. I'm like, fuck, which one should I choose? Because I'm trying. I'm try- it's because it's hard, but fuck it. <sighs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're having some uh, difficulties here. We'll be right back after <laughs> I'm, it's because it's because i'm torn because it's like it's too it's too drastic time like okay anyways whatever i'm gonna have to go with infinity wars okay number two yeah okay so was, i kind of know what I your t- number one is and no, i don't think you do <laughs> what well based on our list we we okay well oh that's right that's right that's right i forgot Okay, well, anyways, yeah, that's my number two. All right, well... And um, I was torn between this one and the first one. Well, um, we can talk about Avengers Infinity War... Um, <laughs> Next when, week. When, 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 when we get there, uh, which you're probably going to know where it is in my list now because uh, my number two is, is Avengers, the first one. Oh, you see? Damn. <laughs> if I would have said that one, we would have had the same one. Yeah, um, I was torn between those two men. And the reason why I'm so torn is because I really enjoyed the first one when it came out. I remember I went to go watch it at um, in L.A. at the El Capitan Theater. Yeah. And, um, man, I just enjoyed the hell out of the movie because it was like the first time you see all of them together, you know? Yeah. And the reason that I... That's what I'm saying. It was so fucking hard because Infinity Wars just came out. So I feel like I don't know if it's because it's recent and that's why I chose it. Or I don't know. Because I haven't seen Avengers in a while. So that's why I'm like, damn. I don't know. But I remember I highly enjoyed that movie. No, I know. It's it's tough, too. And um, I feel like we should just say the rest of the list because I'm pretty sure you know what my number one is. And I know what your number one is. Well, no, I'm still tripping out. We'll talk about it. Is your okay, f- what's well, your first one? Uh, Infinity War. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> but your number one is different. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it was my number five, which started off. I the list. know, which is crazy. <laughs> That's why I'm like but in I, shock. I do not blame you at all because Guardians of the Galaxy for me is like it, it came out and it instantly like it was it's become one of my favorite films, even outside Ever. of the MCU. Yeah, yeah, because it's Ever. just so well done. Uh, but real quick, um. We'll talk about Avengers since we um, we have the other ones in common. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think Yuri talked about a little bit of Avengers for me. It's not just the fact because I, I was talking to one of my friends and they're like, "Oh well, you shouldn't put Avengers up there because just because it's like the first time they all came together." It's like, well, for me, it's still a great movie. You know, it's still yeah. well done. Joss Whedon did an incredible job in bringing these characters together. At first, obviously, 
um, they didn't really get along. And the movie is like that too. Like they have to learn to learn uh, work together. And you know, Coulson's death and stuff. And Loki's an amazing villain with the Chitari army and stuff. And mm-hmm. there's a bunch of these iconic scenes and and stuff that we've now learned uh, loved from Avengers. It happened here and stuff. And I'm hoping they revisit it because I don't know if you've seen the leaked pictures from uh, Avengers Four. Mm-hmm. They're kind of in that same same uh, realm. Yeah, the realm of Avengers. Like Captain America looks the same. So hopefully they're gonna revisit it. But um yeah, I just even the score by Alan Silvestri is great. Um and just these characters, again, they they brought back Hulk, you know, and, and uh, with Mark Ruffalo and Hawkeye and stuff. Well Hawkeye was kind of, you know, screwed in that movie, but you know, he was kinda he sh- kinda shined in later on in in Avengers too. But yeah, it's it's my number two. I, I love it and yeah. Yeah, man, that was hella tough. You guys saw how hard of it, how hard of a time I had. Cause yeah. damn. No, I get but you. um, but yeah, it's just it's cause it's such a good movie. But <laughs> but now we can talk about your number one, Guardians. <laughs> your number five. My number like, five. What the hell, John? My bad. Excuse what the hell, goodness. John? Okay, well, like I said, this is based on enjoyment, and yeah. every time I pop that movie in, it's just I know I'm gonna enjoy it. It's yeah, just enjoyment. It's pure enjoyment. Every fucking time. I get and you. And I think James Gunn did hell of a job with that movie. The yeah. soundtrack was on point. The yeah. actors, everything. The characters. I mean, he created... I mean, I mean, he created... The characters that came out in this movie, I feel like they became just huge, you know? Like, grew. Yeah. He just, like, spun out of control. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we, got, we got Chris Pratt that killed it at yep. being... Star Lord, I thought it was just oh, it's just such a good movie. Um yeah. like I said, it is just an enjoying movie that I can watch over and over and over again. And even outside like what you said of the Marvel universe, like I still I still fucks with it. <laughs> yeah. No, definitely because um obviously one of the favorite movies that everybody has in common is Star Wars. Mm-hmm. And for me, when I saw this movie, I don't think I've ever said this, but for me it's like kids growing up now this is going to be their star wars you know because Mm -hmm. it's like these characters are so well done the soundtrack it looks beautiful um and just the the fact that nobody really knew who the guardians of the galaxy was right they they made it work so well like you said all the characters rocket drax gamora star lord and uh groot all of them Mm -hmm. were fantastic I love all their development in this one and the second one and even in, in Infinity War. Um, just everything about the movie. It makes me feel like a kid and like it just... I don't know. I can watch it any time of the day. Like any... Mm-hmm. Like if you want to watch it now like and even tomorrow and the next day, I'm down. You know? Like yeah. I can watch it as many times as possible. Like, And yeah, it's just... It's funny as well. And it has yeah. this great message and a great theme about like him and his mom. Mm -hmm. which this recent time watching this uh for the road to infinity war like i teared up at the end you know when he's like Mm -hmm. gamora's like hey take my hand he kind of flashes back when he's seeing his mom you know Mm -hmm. and it's just the characters everything was awesome my one gripe obviously is the villain ronan but he wasn't i mean now um knowing how ruthless and thug thanos is (laughs) (laughs) um it took a lot of balls for Ronan to be like, you know what? No, fuck you. I'm going to take yeah. the orb and do whatever I want to do with it. So I kind of give yeah. him a little bit more respect on that note. But and I mean, I, I didn't think he was bad. It's just, I don't know. It, I, I would want to see him a little bit more, you know? Yeah, and I also thought that I think I love that also about the movie is that I remember watching it and getting so hyped. Like every time yeah. they would show Thanos. Yeah, I me was too. like, oh my God. Like I thought that was the greatest thing <laughs> in the world. And then also because. I feel like um, I like it a lot because people that don't even necessarily watch these movies, they still enjoy it. Like, yeah. for example, my parents, like, they don't watch every Marvel movie. And, like, even when we go see, like, maybe, like, Captain America, they're, like, lost. They're, like, wait, what's yeah. going on? Like, who did he kill or what? <laughs> and with this one, like, they don't really need to know that much background because yeah, exactly. it's just, like, a story on its own and it's entertaining. Yeah, you know? it w- it's an MCU film. But, again, it's, like, in, in space, you know, the only <laughs> character you see is obviously uh, – uh, Thor, I'm not Thor, uh, Thanos. Yeah. And you see the collector and stuff. Well, Benicio as the collector is fantastic. Yeah. Um, and even Nebula. There's just the freaking. Um, I'm forgetting his name. Oh my god. John C. Riley? Yes, what's his name? Um, in the, in the 
<laughs> oh my god, this god, is bad. Captain something. I know. We're all, hey guys, we love this movie. We can't remember that guy's name. <laughs> I don't know, but um, that core, what's it called? Nova Core is so yeah. fantastic. Um, Glenn Close is in it. Um, just everything. Even the score. The score and the soundtrack are very different. Yondu. Yandu, Michael Rooker. You see, there's so many things for, of <laughs> that this are movie good. that we, yeah, we love. Even Sean Gunn, uh, James Gunn's uh, yes. brother, is in this. He's yes. great too. Um, and then Baby Groot at the end. Um, yeah, just it's melted just, this movie hearts. for me just has it all. Honestly, it just has it all. And then Gamora, why is it so low? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> damn. I'm, all right, you know what? I changed my list, guys. <laughs> Flip flop number kidding. one with number five, but um. I'm just but the, okay for me okay that's a testament to see like how much i love guardians but the ones i have above it like that's how you know much i love yeah those. i know that's like i'm like damn <laughs> but now we can talk about the big one the meat and potatoes know? of this that's damn what she podcast. said um <laughs> my number one and audrey's number two uh mm-hmm. which is uh obviously avengers infinity war yes so, come on infinity um, wars I don't know. Do you want to start off with it, or do you? Want no, to I think off? you should, because I can see it in your face. You're just like ready to go off. <laughs> well, listen, look. This movie has <laughs> Linda. Linda. Look, I'm just kidding. Um, this this movie was so hyped. You know, obviously, it's like the the we've been building up to this. This one at number four for far too long. Like literally, all the MCU has been building up to this, and I kept thinking to myself, like, fuck, like, is it gonna live up to that? Yeah. And I thought it did and it just blew my expectations away because this movie obviously it's all the uh, everybody getting together, you know, Black Panther, Doctor Strange, Spider-Man, Guardians, all the Avengers. Um but it, it's also it, it's it's also very much Thanos's movie, you know? Oh hell and yeah. I love that because he was the key to making this movie work and Josh Brolin did an amazing job with him and like I said, it is an Avengers movie. It, it is a Thanos movie, but it just uh, it has more to it. There's like more substance to it, and and uh, Thanos's reasons to doing what he wants to do, and and just um, yeah, the score, the cinematography, everything about this movie was almost near perfect for me. And God damn, yeah. I want. I've been wanting to see it again. I've seen it four times, and I want to see it again. Like I, I'm, I'm probably like, you know what? Sorry, Mr. Rogers. I'm gonna go watch Avengers: Infinity War again for the fifth time. But I don't know. Is that like an all-time record? I think it is. What? The most times you've seen a movie in theaters? Oh, um, I don't know. I don't, um, I think in recent memory, yeah. I'm I trying to I, think. I, I know I've seen Avengers, the first one, like, five times. Yeah, I saw Avengers, like, at least three. Because I saw it in L.A., and then I saw it again with my uh, friend, and then I saw it again with my parents, and I saw it, like, three times in theaters. So, yeah. And then I saw Revenge of the Sith, like, four times? Oh, okay. So, it's Probably up there. Probably five. Yeah, so it's it's up there, and I'm trying to remember what Fuck, other Fuck, dude, one. you know what? Let's just let's just uh, end the podcast and go watch it again. I'm yeah, just kidding. No, I, I really want to watch it again. Just just <laughs> everything. Everything about the movie, like I said, it, it, for me, it's it's near perfect. So. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. No, I completely agree. Um, <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> She's at a loss for words. She's just like, <laughs> fuck, what do I say first? <laughs> no, well, it's because, like you said, it was so hyped. And I remember I went into it scared, thinking it's not going to live up to it. They're not going to do it. They're not yeah, going to pull it off. Yeah, they're going to mess it up. But they did. And the one that I honestly was scared that they were going to mess up the most was Thanos. Like, I thought they yeah. were going to make him a little bitch. Or, like, they were going to make him, like, super weak. If but he cracked a joke... <laughs> That would have ruined it. But right. He was serious throughout. The right people did their jokes. You know, obviously Guardians and stuff. But they made him Thanos. Like, they're like, fuck, like, this guy. And I think Josh Brolin, once again, was made to ma- do that character. Like, yeah, wow. He, he was, just killed it. He was awesome as Thanos. <laughs> and also, I like the fact that they showed up his, like, more sensitive side. That powerful scene yep. with... That, more, like that is that is something i was gonna ask you but if you want we can get into now um i was gonna ask you what's your favorite scene but for, for me that that's my favorite scene yeah for movie. me too because it's, that just showed you like how far he was willing to go but like yeah. at a cost you know and then that scene where i mean that scene that part where she realizes it like 
it's just it got me like i was like yeah. damn because like you see her face she's like fuck this this fucker actually cares yeah. about me <laughs> yeah. you know what i mean so she didn't know what to feel because she's like he cares about me the most but at the same time he's willing to sacrifice me to get what he wants yeah you know what i mean and for me that the score is so well done Mm-hmm. the cinematography when we get to Vol- volmir or something like that that planet is awesome and obviously the return of red skull um spoilers not just kidding. yeah <laughs> um but just everything about that scene was perfect for me yeah everything like character wise development and and just like i said score and like i i play the score like every now and then like it, it for and it makes me get back into that feeling mm-hmm. you know and mm-hmm. Man, it sucks. I, I didn't. I I didn't realize how much I didn't want Guardians without Gamora. You know, like, it's not yeah. gonna feel the same. You know, like yeah. And I know. And then that I, part I, where where Star Lord finds out and he yeah. just like loses it. See, that's that's the thing. Like Star Lord's been through so much, and yeah. I feel like now he lost the girl that he loves. He snapped. You know, and yeah. like everybody's like, oh, like he is because of him they lost. It's like no, like put yourself in his shoes. You know. Yeah. Like, like you know, but so anyways, but yeah, that scene is just fucking. And I mean, people, <sighs> uh, people who who I've had this gripe with people that complain about how it ended. Um, they say like, oh, like what the hell? Like it shouldn't have ended that way. Like they weren't supposed to lose. And I'm like, bro, like we already knew <laughs> that they were gonna lose. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like as soon as Doctor Strange predicted it, you know what I mean? He knew yeah. already, and. um I feel like this movie, we kind of were already prepared for it. Like, I was prepared for it. I knew people were going to die. I knew it was going to be, like, that. But I think the way it happened just is what has people, like, shook. Because it was, like, damn. Like, it was super traumatizing. And also, like, everybody's predictions were wrong. Like, I thought Cap was going to die. I thought, like, you know, Iron Man as well was going to die. And, like, everybody who we didn't think, oh, you know, Black Panther's not going to die. Because he has another sequel. He made too much money. And he died. (laughs) <laughs> it's like, yeah. What the hell? Yeah. And um, Spider Man too. Um, did the did the Vision end up dying? Yeah, he did, huh? Yeah, he died yeah. twice. <laughs> he yeah, I know. He like came back to life and then he died again. Damn. That sucks. But um, see, that's one of the prediction and in Loki too. Oh like, man. man, that that first part killed me. You see, there's so many things about this movie to love. Like yeah. for me, the standout character and the character I love the most, I well besides Thanos was thor yeah like for me like he had so much to do he had like hero's arc like he he's another character that literally has lost everything yeah <laughs> his planet his his, his yeah. brother his his dad his even his adopted sister or whatever and now like he's just like damn like he that that scene he has with rocket mm-hmm. or the rabbit as he likes to call him yeah <laughs> like he's like rocket's like oh well i gotta i gotta be the captain you know he talks to him and it's like man like that another great beautiful scene in my opinion it's like fuck like uh i'm bummed it's... we didn't get to see more cap but i mean i'm pretty sure you're like whatever about it but <laughs> but um you don't gotta say it like that shoot <laughs> no and then, um, i'm not saying that i hate captain america people he's just not no, my favorite everybody she's lying she told me before he's just not asked. he's just not my favorite i'm sorry what can i say um but also those moments too, like that the theater enjoyed. Um, one of them is obviously when Cap appears, and that ave- uh-huh. uh, original Avengers theme comes on, and you see some of the Avengers kick ass. And also when Thor comes to Wakanda with his badass axe, and he's yeah. like, "Bring me Thanos!" I'm like, "Oh my god, this is so fucking." He's super sand mode right now. Like he's ah, uh, that was so awesome, but. You just can't help but get like oh, like excited. You know what I'm saying? Like you're just like damn. Yeah, it's, and then it's... to go back, get back to the ending, like I said, I think people were just tripped out because one, they didn't know how they were gonna die, and two, like they didn't think these people that they killed off were gonna die. You know? Yeah. We do know that they're gonna come back. Obviously, in the in, in, at the end, they are going to win. But I love that in this movie is Thanos's movie, and mm-hmm. he he said what he was gonna do. Like, I just want to retire, and just look out. You know at the the rice fields or wherever he was <laughs> <laughs> i know and i i thought that w- that scene was really like crazy too when he's just chilling like yeah. watching the sunset the sunrise or sunset and I don't that remember. score again alan terrestri my gosh like <laughs> man i fucking love it yeah i love I it i love it 
but um, I'm pretty sure we can talk about. Uh, do you do you want to say anything else? No, well, we but can we say can. A lot. We can. Yeah, we can talk about this movie over and over again. We can I mean, dedicate honestly, a whole podcast to it. Yeah, um, it's just it was great. I want to see it again for sure. But no, I we're, I'm done. I can't. Yeah, no, I know it, it's oh, man. Uh, I I have that. I don't know if I told you now that I'm looking at. I have that 10 inch. Uh, Pop from Thanos with the gauntlet. Uh huh. Yeah. He's he's so cool. He's right. He's there. a little beast. He's yeah, a little he's beast. He's smiling yeah. with his smirk. That fucker. <laughs> I know. He's so but, evil. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, so that was my number one, and that was Audrey's number two, and that was our list, guys. Uh, let us know in the comment section down below how wrong we are and what is your list. Yeah. Um, I'm dying to hear the comments. Yeah, definitely comment on anything. You know how excited you are about Ant Man and the Wasp. Um, or anything we talked about in the podcast, uh, but I think that's gonna that's gonna do it for us this week, Audrey. Yep. Do you agree or disagree? Do you want to say something else? No, I agree. I thought it was a good podcast. Yeah, we definitely had a lot of things to say, especially MCU and and, and all that stuff. And Sicario, we, we reviewed it. I kind of want to see Sicario again. Too, yeah, me too. Well. I fucks with it. I think um, I'm gonna take my my dad. <laughs> oh, I know that would be cool. Um, <laughs> but yeah, next week. Um, we still don't, we're kind of up in the air about what we're going to discuss, but cause there's a lot coming out. Uh, but I think me and Audrey are going to be doing our top five favorite movies of the year so far. And we'll have a discussion as well of, um, I don't know how you want to call it like digital media versus physical media or I don't know. We're going to talk about DVDs you know, and streaming. Yeah. DVDs and streaming and all that stuff. How how maybe you know in the fu- near future uh blu-rays and all that stuff are going to become obsolete and everything is going to go digital now and stuff so we're going to have that discussion for you as well we'll probably give you our thoughts on whatever um we saw well i mean audrey could talk about ant-man and the wasp if, if you're, <laughs> yeah. you're gonna check it out or <laughs> yeah hopefully well i'll probably check out that in the purge for sure yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I want to see the purge as well. So you have a lot to look forward to in the next podcast, guys. But uh, until then, we'll see you at the movies. And that was uh, this week's podcast. Bye. Later, guys. Satellite